Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Gaynor here. I am so excited to share with you a digital book on police officers. We are doing our study with community helpers. Today, we're going <clears throat> to be exploring specifically police officers, their job, some of their duties, a look at their uniform, and the important role that they play in our community. Let's take a look at our book reading the book police officers now i want us to remember this type of non-fiction book a non-fiction book will provide us with facts and information on the topic if we look at the cover of the book we have a police officer it's a photograph so this is a real life cop and that's another word for a police officer cop on the right hand side here we have the table of contents and this is another non-fiction text feature and it tells us the different headings and topics that the book will be about and what pages we can find them on. It also gives us some other non-fiction text features like the glossary or index of where we could look up words or find definitions of uh, new vocabulary words that we do not know. So let's take a look at our book. Let's begin reading. Police officers. Police officers keep us safe. They make sure laws are followed. Let's take a look at this definition, laws. Laws is a rule of conduct or action laid down and enforced by the supreme governing authority of a community or established by custom the whole collection of such rules, the control bought, by uh, bought about by enforcing rules. So another fancy word for laws is rules. It's things in which we have to follow to make sure that our community is safe. Here we have some cop cars in our photograph on this page. They help people. Sam must cross the street safely. So here we have a police officer waiting at the corner, helping a family walk across the street safely. As you'll see here, the police officer is wearing a special vest so that um, drivers can and other vehicles can see and spot the officer to make sure to, to slow down and stop. They make sure people drive safely. Jane was driving too fast. She gets a ticket. So a police officer saw that she was speeding or going too fast. So here the officer is taking her information. A person gets a ticket when they are doing something that was not following the laws or the rules. A ticket is something that has to be paid. So it's a, given like a traffic ticket um, or a summons or a warning. Some police ride in cars. Others ride bikes or horses. I know that I've seen a lot of police officers, especially during quarantine, on horses walking around the neighborhood, um, making sure that people are following the social distancing rule. Um, it's an easy way for them to get around and to kind of see people as well. A lot of times we will see uh, police officers on horses in parades in our community. A lot of times during the summer, we'll see a lot of police officers on bikes as well. Here comes the police car. The siren is loud. The lights flash. So we spoke about this in our Google Hangout. A siren is a group of loud noises that have a shrill or a warning sound. So that's to let people know that the police officers are coming, that they're trying to get to the emergency to help and to assist the people. Sometimes, as you could tell in this picture, that the car is going very fast. The lights and sirens will alert people, whether they're walking or driving in their cars, to kind of move out of the way for our emergency people. Police wear uniforms. They have tool belts. 
Now, this tool belt is a little different than our construction workers. The police officers have in special equipment, such as a flashlight, handcuffs, a gun, a baton, a notepad, and some other uh, tools that they will wear on their belt in case they need it during a emergency. Handcuffs go around the the person's wrist and they have other types of tools so to keep our community members safe. Some police work with dogs. The dogs help them. Sometimes the dogs will have a special collar or a vest on um, and they are there to help um, the officers get to something faster or to sniff things out if they need to find uh, either a person or an item. Um, dogs come in really, really handy. Do you know a police officer? I know in our community, there are many people, whether it's your family, a neighbor, a friend of a family member. Um, it's important to know and to look up to police officers because they really help keep our community safe. So like I said, in the back of our book, we have nonfiction text features. So what we have here is a police officer's tools. This is important vocabulary so that we know some of the things that they have on them, as well as how they help us in our community. So they have a flashlight. There's a patrol car. That's the car in which the police officers ride around in, that they drive around in. Handcuffs, so if they have to arrest someone. And then a two-way radio. It's like a walkie-talkie almost. And they communicate with their officers back at the station. That's where uh, the police uh, bring people if they need to arrest them. Um, but that's their like headquarters. We also have a glossary. A glossary will give us definitions of words that are unfamiliar or are important to the topic. So our vocabulary words that were um, bolded in the book were laws. Ticket and siren. This provides words that are going to be found pertaining to the topic. So there's words like bike, dog, horse, laws, uh, police car, safety, siren, ticket, tools, uniform. If we were looking for those specific words or to find more information about it, we can find um, that on those specific pages there. Another great thing about this book is that there's a website and it's called abdokids.com. And if you enter the code MPK9161, there are additional games. There's a police video um, that you a video that you can watch to learn a little bit more about the ins and outs of their jobs and learn some of the signals that the crossing cross guards use um, and a lot more exciting information. I hope you enjoyed this lesson about police officers and how they help keep our community safe. Keep up the hard work, boys and girls. Have a great day.